We will destroy Hamas's military and governing capabilities in Gaza. We will release all our hostages and we will ensure that Gaza never poses a threat to Israel again. Israel announced that six hostages were found dead in a tunnel in southern Gaza. This discovery has ignited protests in Jerusalem, with calls for an immediate deal with Hamas to free the remaining hostages. An Israeli military spokesperson named the victims and emphasized the urgent need for their return. They should have come back alive. They could have come back alive. We need a deal now. They need to come back alive. The six hostages, including 23-year-old Israeli-American Ash Goldberg, were kidnapped by Hamas on October 7th, but were killed shortly before Israeli troops reached them. Lori Danino, Alex Lubnov, Almog Sarusi, Hirsch Goldberg Polin, Carmel Gat, Veden Yerushalmi. Another hostage, Farhan Al Qadi, was rescued from the same tunnel a few days ago. Goldberg was among 250 hostages taken during Hamas's attack on October 7th, which led to a major conflict in Gaza. Since then, over 40,000 Palestinians have died in Israel's military response, according to the UN. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to hold those responsible accountable and is committed to securing the release of the remaining hostages. Hamas blames Israel's refusal to agree to a ceasefire for the deaths, while President Joe Biden expressed devastation over the news. In response, tens of thousands of Israelis have protested, demanding a ceasefire. The main labor union has called for a strike, with demonstrators chanting, now, now, and urging Netanyahu to negotiate with Hamas to bring the hostages home.